As a father of two children, I'm deeply troubled by the recent trend of party candidates shying away from debates. Their excuses are flimsy at best, often claiming that certain debates aren't in their best interest. But here's the truth. Debates aren't for the candidates. They're for the people. They're a vital tool for citizens like myself to educate ourselves about the candidates, hold them accountable, and safeguard the very foundations of democracy that our children will inherit. The purpose of debates has been twisted. It's not about giving candidates a platform to spout rehearsed lines or dodge tough questions. No, debates are about putting candidates under the microscope, holding them accountable for their actions and seeing how they handle themselves under pressure. If a candidate can't hold their own on a debate stage, how can we trust them to negotiate on our behalf and on a global scale? Furthermore, if they lack the mental acuity to engage in a lively exchange, why would we trust them to confront the myriad of challenges facing our modern nation? Debates are for we, the people, and we must demand that they become a new standard and a prerequisite to the election process. As a father, I have a responsibility to protect my children and ensure that they inherit a country that values integrity, accountability, and transparency in its leadership. That's why I find it deeply concerning that both Donald Trump and Joe Biden seem reluctant to debate RFK Jr. It's as if they fear the intellectual rigor and depth of knowledge that he can bring to the table. RFK Jr. has spent a lifetime immersed in the complexities of politics and policy, He's learned more about insider politics at his childhood dining room table than most of us could ever hope to understand. He's a master of the issues, able to cite percentages and studies in the moment, and he absolutely could overwhelm his opponents in a debate. It's a shame that we may not be allowed to witness a true intellectual heavyweight like RFK Jr. take the stage and challenge the status quo. We, the people, deserve better. We deserve leaders who are willing to engage in open, honest debates who aren't afraid to defend their positions and challenge their opponents. As a father, I need to know that the leaders of our country have the courage, the conviction, and the integrity to stand up for what's right, even when it's difficult. That's why I'm calling on Biden and Trump to put aside their reservations and debate RFK Jr. Let the American people decide who has the vision, the courage, and the integrity to lead our great nation forward. Anything less is an affront to democracy and an insult to millions of Americans who are counting on their leaders to do better, for the sake of our children and for the future that they will inherit. We live in a world where the decisions made by our leaders have far-reaching consequences, not just for us, but for generations to come. As parents, We have the duty to hold our leaders accountable and demand that they engage in open, honest dialogue for the betterment of our nation. So I urge Biden and Trump to set aside their reservations and embrace the opportunity to debate RFK Jr. Let's show our children that democracy is still alive and well and that their voices matter in shaping the future of our country. Anything less would be a disservice to them and the ideals that define us as a nation.